There's three now. My chances went from one in 30,000 to one in 12 to one in four, and now I'm one in three. I have a 33, third, third, third chance of possibly winning this. Oh, where the fuck is my black star? Everything is on the line right now, and I'm just really trying to just focus my mind. I want celebrities to want me to style them, and I want to have my looks on red carpets and, and be there. We're so close to the prize. I can almost taste it. <laughs> we have something for you. <laughs> Congratulations. This is in a portfolio. Oh, oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mel and Philip gave us the body of work that we've done since we've been here. And to see where we started and now, you know, where we're at, it's priceless. This is something that you will present to the world as far as showing your achievements on this show. And it's not just a keepsake for you. Specifically, today, this is a job and you have to be interviewed if you want a job. So I want you to look at these and think about these so that you can meet the CEO of a premier agency that represents world-renowned stylists, Timothy Priano. We are going to have a meeting with Timothy Priano, the founder of Artists by Timothy Priano. To be represented by a man like him could change my life forever. Basically, You'll have one hour to look through your portfolios, get yourselves together, and then you'll be coming down one at a time, and you'll basically do an interview. The important thing that you should know is that after the interview, one of you is going to be eliminated. I feel like now is the time. I've got to push forward and let Timothy know who I am. A lot of people say, you're so passive. We don't really know who you are. But you know, when it comes down to the wire, I, you know, I can show my vivacious side. And I think that's what I'm going to bring to the table with Timothy. See you soon. Good luck. I have great interview skills. I find myself very personable. I have a lot of professional achievements. This could be an easy end for me. I think I'd like to change. Yeah, I have to get changed. I definitely want to make a good impression because first impressions are everlasting. So I try to find the nicest outfit that I have. Hopefully, he takes me serious. This is it. It is completely on right now. We're on. Hello, Preston. Hi. How are you today? I'm well. Remember throughout the challenges, I told you that you will be represented by a major styling agency. Yes. Well, at this time, I'd like to introduce you to the founder of Artists by Timothy Priano. Timothy, this is Preston. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Priano. My first impression of Timothy Priano is that he may not be the happiest guy in town. He's just like, no smiles, all business. He's pretty intimidating. Preston, we are now going to take a look at a selection of your work during this competition. For this task, we were asked to create a red carpet look for a young up-and-coming actress. She asked that the look that we style for her be sexy and fun, but she still wanted to look classy and elegant. But do you want classy or boring? Timothy says photos are boring, and when things get like this is when I get nervous. This was a challenge I got to do on my own. Paige had asked that the looks get feel a whispered sex appeal, but nothing too overbearing. Where's the pizzazz to it? You have no accessories attached there. It's very mm -hmm. simple. The he actually won the challenge, and his little attention to detail was really impeccable. And the one thing that Paige stated, who was the uh, creator of this line, was that she didn't want the accessories to take over. She wanted people to pay more attention to her line. Understood. Preston, you may go back up to the law. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Preston. I feel like the panel was rooting for me. I hope they root for me more. I hope I get to go to the end. Welcome, darling. This is Timothy. Timothy. Hi, Mr. This is Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily, we are now about to take a look at some of your work. Okay, the gaucho was something that my mother wore in the 70s, and I really feel like we could bring this back. The material that I cut from the shorts made a flower out of it. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's take Pleasure. a look at your next look. This was the individual challenge. I was thinking Bianca Jaga, 1974. Very interesting. I really just want to make it a good impact in this industry, and I feel like styling is my strength. Tiger Lily, thank you. Thank you. Your excuse to the loft. I can only hope for the best. Hopefully, Timothy will want to take me on. Well, hello, Andashio. Hello, Glam Panel. Don't you look dapper today? Thank you so much. 
Are you ready? Yes. I wanted everyone to talk about Amy when she got on the red carpet. I know it's a little risque, but that's what I like about it. I love to push my client to try new things. Do you think you pushed the envelope too far? Um, if I had the opportunity again, I would have definitely styled her a little differently. And this is when Indashio worked all by himself. I kept her look really classic. Brandon is a hip hop artist, so I had to give some of her classiness to him and some of his hip hop to her. Very good, quick thinking. I think Indashio is completely unique and he's a lot louder and more expressive than some of the other housemates, but I see that as a strength with Indashio. He's very likable. Thank very you, Indashio. If Timothy is judging us on passion and drive, then I think that I'm going to win. If maybe he's judging us based on our looks, then maybe I don't have a, a so good of a chance. Timothy, well, you have seen our final three stylists for Glam God. One of them would be represented by your agency. So first, we're going to start with Preston. Mel, Philip, if you could let us know your expert opinion. He is just a slight bit shy, but we've seen him step out of it, and he's just been a pleasure to deal with. I think he did well. How do you feel about Preston? I think he is a gentleman. He'll be a good ambassador for your company. He's a well-rounded individual and stylist. I felt his images were a little on the weak side. He didn't push his envelope, but he does understand fashion. And to me, he's a nice person. Yes, he is. And that's the most important thing. Let's move on to Tiger Lily. I think Tiger Lily has a great sense of style, but she's also extremely intelligent. But the problem is we are dealing with celebrities, with personalities. Is the name Tiger Lily going to scare those clients away? It wouldn't scare me away. I like her fabulous. <laughs> Come on, bring it, baby. But she will get down on her knees. She will be in the cutest little dress and get down on her hands and knees. Just keep okay. going. And last but not least, Indashio. He has an incredible level of creativity and a passion. I mean, you can see the passion in his presentation today. Whether that will be overbearing for some clients, that's questionable. I absolutely feel he has incredible energy he is unique but every day he's come in exactly like a cartoon character of a of a rap band he's never come in in something simple and understated today is the first time he has dressed simple and understated i understand philip but he knew today when an agent was sitting in the room to dress the part and i thought he was interesting timothy you know who your two choices are to continue on to the finals yes Welcome back, stylists. Thanks. Timothy's agency, Artist by Timothy Priano, will be representing one of you. Timothy, who would be your first choice? Tiger Lily. Thank you. What you want out of a stylist is someone who can envision change and I felt that she would be completely different from everyone else. I knew I was talented, but for Timothy to recognize that, it's, it's a beautiful moment. Now, Timothy, we're going to ask you another choice. Preston and Indagio, they're both unique. Indagio, he's a little scattered. His fashion sense is in different areas. Preston, I think it's important as a stylist to be conservative, but at the same time, a client wants to see something more. It's a tough one. Oh my God, one of us is about to be eliminated. Now, like literally right now. I would have to go with the Daggio. Thank you. Preston, I think, does not take the risk. A stylist needs to grow with each client to make sure they give them enough selection. You know, this is a tough part for me, but you went so very far in this competition, Preston. Thank you. And you should be very proud of yourself. I don't want you to walk out of here with your head down at all. No, it's high. <laughs> <sighs> Preston, keep reaching for the stars, because you're not ready to style them. You're eliminated. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm just like a little bit in shock right now. I mean, I'm not a one-look wonder, OK? If you look at every single look, they're very different. I'm disappointed that I'm not competing in the next challenge, but I'm not disappointed in my work. Well, 
Let's all thank Timothy Priano for coming by and giving you a little insight on what you need to make it as a stylist. This is it, me and Tiger Lily, head to head. I mean, we're just total opposites. She is very well-spoken and educated, so I'm a little worried that maybe people don't take me as much serious as her. Stylist, for your final hot trend challenge, it's going to be quite an undertaking. It's gonna be something that you've never experienced before. And I thought that you guys could use a little bit of help, so I will let each of you hire one assistant. Assistants, come on in. No. Yeah! You all remember those guys? It is so good to see the gang. Congratulations to both. I'm glad to see Kiki. I didn't even know if he would make it. At least he's alive. Silas, you will be able to pick one assistant from our past competitors. We will let ladies go first. <sighs> I'm gonna go with Handry. I knew right away that I would choose Handry because I never had a chance to work with him and our like vision get crossed a lot. You know, he has such talent for sewing. I definitely want to work with him. And Dashio, who do you choose for your assistant? First of all, I brought this for you. Yeah. <laughs> I miss you out of all, all the people. You're special to me and I'll be your best assistant because I'm professional. And Dashio, who do you choose? The pressure's on, I gotta pick the right man for the job. And I think that's Bo. I think Bo has an eye for fashion, he's passionate and hardworking, not to mention the boy does hair. For this final Hot Trend Challenge, you will style a celebrity for a magazine shoot. And that celebrity will be... I'm so excited, I just wanna find out who it is. God knows who our celebrity is gonna be. It's gonna be tough, but I'm up for the challenge. All right, stylist. For this final Hot Trend Challenge, you will style a celebrity for a magazine shoot. And that celebrity will be... Me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. You must create two looks for me. You will have two hours to go shopping on the fabulous Roberts Boulevard. We will give you a budget of $5,000 to shop with. You will be able to pull one gown from Bradley Bayou. The gowns start at $10,000 each, which means we go in major league this time. Right. It's a finale. Right. I need you to what? Bring it, mm -hmm. okay? The winner's look will be featured in an upcoming issue of Us Weekly for Winning Style. This is crazy. We expect nothing less than red carpet diva, okay? Good luck. The party is officially over. It's about business. Hello, sweetie. I'm Bo. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Dashio. So nice to meet you. Of course. Hi, I'm Dashio. That yellow one, I want to see it up close and personal. That's called the Texas Twister. I'm loving it. That's it. That's it. I want it. That's it. I picked this dress within 30 seconds, and as a stylist, I had one of those moments. The theme that I want for Vivica's story is golden goddess. I decide to center my whole shopping experience around this amazing gown. Let's go. Let's Thanks, roll out. Bye. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I'm not 100% only because the triangle at the top. Yeah. You know? I think maybe two. I just don't want any accidents. For inspiration, I thought about Dorothy Dandridge. You know, I wanted Vivica to look old Hollywood, but still diva. Gosh, it's really striking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure about the bust line, but I don't see any other dress that's gonna stand out on the carpet. Oh, here it is, Indasia. Perfect. <laughs> Hi. Uh. I automatically see this amazing bling jacket, and I know that I gotta have it. And we're keeping with the integrity of the Golden Goddess vision. Oh. Yeah, we want oh, this. Oh my gosh. They just, those boots she just got today. Oh, first off the line, those are hot. Can we get these at um, an eight and a half too, please? 3740. Whoa! Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Work it. That's perfect. perfect. Good. 
Later. Bye. I want something that pops, not black. This is what I want. Yeah. I wanted to bring a certain kind of integrity to the Hollywood red carpet diva look. I wanted to give drama with the gown and then sort of like a second look that is more easygoing but still chic and elegant. Eight and a half in this one. Yeah, we should get it. This is already cheap. It's an option. Yeah. Yeah, this is That's special. Set. Yeah, it's special. Let's cash up. Is this too much with the glittery jacket? <laughs> no. Okay. This is Intachio, my okay. name or what? Okay, I love it. The last store we go to is Kitson, and I'm looking for chandelier earrings. I'm also looking for a pair of shoes that'll also go with this amazing gown. Thank you, sweetie. Oh shit. The competition oh, right. is up in here. Tiger Lily, how's it going, baby? It's gorgeous. I'm so happy at the Good. very top, sweetie. So happy. Tiger Lily has her game face on, and she's not trying to conversate. I seem Good. really nervous and no, quiet. Okay. Let us do our business. <laughs> what? Bye, sweetie. Bye, Bye. I'll see you at the loft. See ya. It's like the Cold War right now. But the battle has just begun. Thank you, guys. Later. Good luck. Thanks. All in a day's work. Get your board. Right now, I am preparing my concept for tomorrow's editorial shoot. So I'm using tear sheets from the magazines to create a storyboard to express my vision for tomorrow's editorial, which is golden goddess, diamond diva, platinum princess type of thing. She's gonna be like the golden Cinderella. So we're gonna do some cutouts. What I'm gonna do is create an inspiration board to help me with my vision. It's gonna be dramatic, it's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna look, she's gonna look like Dorothy Dandridge. I mean, very classic, elegant, and chic. All right, you guys, it's been real. I will see you tomorrow, AM. Bo, get you some sleep. Get, get some sleep, we got a busy day. Bye. No. Bye, y'all, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you Love you guys. Some guys okay? I will, bye, sweetie. And then there's two. It's just me and you. Good night, baby. It's the last day in the loft, and uh, it's just nerve wracking because now it's down to today. I can't, uh, it's just nerve wracking. It's pretty amazing to know that like I'm still standing and wake up and I'm like, I have to like get my stuff together because I'm leaving any minute to go style Vivica A. Fox. I meet Roberta and Rianne, Vivica's personal glam squad. I show them the storyboard which I created. So my story for today is all about Vivica being a golden goddess, golden makeup, golden dress, golden shoes, golden jewelry, golden, 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 golden. So it was what I was envisioning for the makeup direction. See how Jessica Elbow's got this golden eye? You can tell there's like a little tad bit of like white just to open up the eye. I love the red lip. Hola. Hola. Good morning. Good morning. Good. You guys tell them what you're gonna do? Um, I wanna get you right into hair and makeup. Okay. All right, let's do it. Don't take time. I'm afraid of Vivica is not the word. I am petrified right now. She is a diva. Whoa. That is so crazy. That's exactly what I wanted. You are so on point. It's not even funny. Yes. Vivica's hair and makeup is done, and now we proceed to the fitting. That's right, Bo. That's right. Well, if it doesn't go, baby. Is it, is it painful? Creative. Um, it's a little bit, but I'm okay. The Texas Twister. That dress was $11,500, and it still didn't fit. So I have to make a decision right then and there, take control, and rectify the situation right now. Give me that um, peach dress. Okay. You're going to go to your plan B? Yeah, I'm going to go to my other. I have another okay. dress in mind that I think it would be better. Brand, we're changing. Plan B is this coral dress that we got from Intermix. We had to switch the makeup up a little. We just added a little bit more coral to match the dress to her lips. And now it's time for the photo shoot. Work it out, V. Oh, that's hot. I like that. I picked this dress because I know it would flatter all of her assets and give her that great waistline and put her Tate Dalicious's where they needed to be. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to give it. Yeah. I think 
We got it, and we got tons. Yeah. Moving on. These are Next. Fabulous. So the second look that I'm doing for Vivica is very indachio. It's very sexy, it's luxurious, it's attitude. I almost don't like the necklace. I feel like it's a little too, too much with the... Chachki, see, good stylist will know when enough is enough. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. So the second look is a silver sequin jacket with a Zach Posen black dress, this amazing studded belt to go with it. We changed the hair. I wanted it her to pump up the volume. We changed the lipstick as well. I wanted a more deeper, almost purple brick type of color. Mm. If that ain't Vivica A. Fox, I don't know what is. I think we got that. <sighs> Finally, it is over, and I am feeling so good. Yo, thank you for sharing this experience with me, man. For real. You really did your thing. We have oh, look, to you're go. actually running. We have to go. Do you have to go right away? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to go for Hollywood hottest red carpet diva. Hey, sweetie, how are you? The first thing I want to do is talk to Vivica's glam squad. What are okay. we doing today? So, I wanted her hair up because she has such a gorgeous face. Well, do you have a photo reference? I do, but this was sort of black, oh you know, God. but... Uh, yeah, no, she okay. It, but... I get it. Uh, yeah. Hola, hola! Hi. You look really Hi. nice. Hi, How are you, How are you today? I'm doing good. Hi, Andrew. Andrew. Hello, doll oh, face. No. So Vivica shows up, and the pressure is on. You want that particular bun, or you just basically want something with her hair up? I like the shape. Okay. I think it's dramatic because it's huge. If you can't get it that big, so be it. For this eye, mm -hmm. um, I wanted a navy because I didn't want her to look too fierce, and I just wanted the eyes to pop, but not too much. Okay. okay. Styling Vivica A. Fox is like, you know, the upper echelon of styling. I hope that my look could stand the test of time. Hopefully, I can pull this competition. Move it up. Up, up, up to Tori. Thank you. Okay. Yes. We're almost yes. ready. This is perfect. Thank you. I'm doing Vivica's nails, and all I can think about is like, this is a dream. I'm living my dream right now. I really thought about this dress, the color, the cut, the fit. I'm so happy that I chose this color for her because it just makes her look so regal. I'm really proud right now. I think we got it. Okay. You know, I definitely deserve to be here. There's no question. I knew what I wanted for Vivica, and I executed it. I just need, like, maybe just a little bit more on it. Vivica looks great in everything, and I wanted to bring a certain kind of integrity to the Hollywood red carpet diva look. You got all your accessories, everything on you want to do? Um, let yeah. me see. One more curl. Yeah, I just want to keep it simple. Thank you. We're in the home stretch. Wardrobe malfunction. Sorry. Let's just do this. To the back, to the back over here. Oh, I'll just sort it. The dress is just a little bit too tight on the top, so I've had to leave it open and pin it, and that pin's come loose into Vivica's back. My muffins are popping out. Such a malfunction. I'm making last-minute changes to this couture dress, and hopefully everything will be great. Just hold your waist. I'm having a muffins malfunction. I might have just gone a little bit too small, which is like a no-no. Again, it's not gonna work out. I'm taking it out. <sighs> that dress, that gown, just didn't fit. But we're gonna make it work. Put your hands up. This. Yeah. No, no, no. It's gonna flatten her out. Wait a second, malfunction. Well, I can't even, because it's. I have like, my boobs are twice as big as this guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, <gasps> we just have to keep her in. Yeah, yeah, is that okay? Yeah. Look down a little bit more. Yeah, that's great. Well, I think we got it. Thank you so much. Bronze. Thank you. You did a wonderful job. So thank you. I had a little malfunction with the dress, and obviously that's gonna work against me. I mean, that's like your worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. I'm so sad about this. This 
whole time has been great. It's been an incredible journey. I'm remembering all the challenges, all the fights, the drama. You want to play oh, me? I'll more. play you right back. I'm entirely back, like. team. I don't care what you hate. It's about them. You have no respect for anybody in this fucking house. You deserve to go home. I've seen myself grow to a whole new person. Tell me what's going on. I have pride and I wanted to come clean to the panel. I've seen my styling abilities to a whole new level. You have dressed a hookah. I wanted to make this trench coat a trench dress. I loved this as a dress. I hadn't even thought of it. Could wear it as a dress. What a stylist should do. They should inspire. The fact that I'm still here is just like, wow, it's it's all everything is really starting to kind of sink in. And I feel like that now I'm ready and I'm hoping that the judges can see that. Bye. Yeah. I've grown as a person throughout this competition. You know, living with people, it's not easy. So nobody gets Let's their own it. room. Oh There's my God, this no is so pool. crazy. To beat 10 people and to be still here, you know, it's like, it's a dream come true. I didn't think I would make it this far, but I made it through and it's taught me so many things about myself. Vivica Pageant, I'd like to make this easy and uh, step down. Since I moved into the house, since day one, I've been focused on getting to this point. And I am here. I'm here and the judges have appreciated all that I've done and I'm just ecstatic about it. This is a beautiful interpretation. Tiger Lily definitely has something her, her touch. Definitely a sister with that sex in the city edge. I mean, this is what I dream about. As a child, four or five years old, this is what I want to do. Now it's time for the final photo review, and I'm more nervous than ever. I do have a 50-50 chance right now. I'm very nervous. This is why I came. I came for the title. Welcome to your final red carpet elimination. I am very proud of both of you. Stylish, you've worked hard, and tonight you have definitely dressed to impress. Strange, strange. <laughs> you are competing for the coveted title of Glam God. The opportunity to be represented by a major styling agency, artists by Timothy Priano, and a cash prize of $100,000. Also, the winner's photo will be featured in an upcoming issue of Us Weekly magazine as an example of winning style. We have Us Weekly's very own Mel Bromley, our British invasion. Hello, stylists. You're both exceptional, so good luck this evening. Thank you. And next, he's a true glam god, a celebrity stylist, Mr. Philip Block. From the bottom of my heart, I'm, I'm just very glad that it's the two of you here. I think you both have had an extraordinarily long journey, but I think it's only the beginning of an even longer career for the both of you. For your final hot trend challenge, I ask you to create two red carpet diva looks for me for a photo shoot. You'll be judged on your ability to create a winning look that pops on the pages of Us Weekly. How well you worked with your celebrity client, and that would be me. How well you worked effectively with a deadline. We'll have ladies go first tonight. Tiger Lily, let's take a look at your first look that you created for me. Explain the style that you created for this photo shoot. I wanted you to show your figure. I wanted it to be sexy. I've used your body as an inspiration. I thought the color, it's jewel tone and it just complements your skin tone and you look amazing. I think the color is beautiful and it really, really pops. The dress is outstanding for her figure. She has that curvaceous figure. These dresses were made for that, so outstanding choice on the dress. The purple dress worked, thank God. And I know Vivica felt gorgeous in it. She's worn Hervé Leger many times and she knows that Hervé cuts for her body. Makeup. Flawless. Her face is just stunning to start with, and this is her but better. And that's the choice she's you want to make. You've really captured the essence of Vivica, like you've captured her style. Tiger Lily? Yes? Did you know that that was the first hairstyle wore on the show? No, I did not. Which didn't bother me. Yeah. Because you know what? It worked. I completely and honestly forgotten that Vivica had this hairstyle. But it's okay, because for me, if it works, why not? Mel, would you see this in the magazines? It's a good example of the kind of silhouette look on the red carpet. I love the dress. The color was beautiful. I would definitely wear that on the red carpet. 
Now we will take a look at Tiger Lily's second look. Oh, Tiger Lily, tell us about your vision. You know, I was thinking Dorothy Dandridge. I was thinking old Hollywood, but it's, it's a lot of things going into one, but hopefully, uh, you know, you'll find it altogether um, pleasing. I get the impression you're not 100% happy with it. I was very disappointed. I think my choice on um, the right fit for Vivica was not so good. Tiger Lily's talking and she's really starting to come down on her own work, which you don't ever want to do that. But at the same time, I'm not getting too happy because I don't know what my photos look like yet. I think that you tried to be more experimental than mm -hmm. you have been recently yes. and tried to make this big, dramatic kind of statement. And I don't think it's worked. This is an outfit that is so on the edge that I would have put it in Fashion Police as a mistake. The greatest thing about Vivica mm -hmm. is the curves. Yes. Where's the waist? There's I no... I cinched it. This, you yeah. needed to cinch it? Yes. The judges just hated Vivica's second look. They hated it. The fit was completely incorrect. And that's my own fault. Thank you, Tiger Lily, for presenting your red carpet diva looks. And Dashio, are you ready to present your red carpet diva looks? Yes, I am. Look number one for Indashio. It's my turn. Yeah. Would you like to explain the style that you created for me? I wanted something really innovative and edgy for you to show off your figure. I think it looks like a painting. It's so beautiful. Your curves, like it's like someone's drawn them. That absolutely perfect in that dress. I think it's a great choice. You can tell she feels comfortable in this. It was as if you were born to wear this dress. And the shape of the earring matches the shape of the bust line of the dress. So for me, it has a story, it has a reason. And the hair is so different from anything we've seen on Vivica before. And I absolutely love it. And yes, it would make us weekly. Strange, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Dasha, let's take a look at your second look that you created. You know I had to do a little indashio, so I, uh, I had to do some sparkly bling bling. I've seen this jacket and I had to have it. I actually spent a fifth of my budget on those Giuseppe shoes, which just got in to Intermix yesterday. I love this. Um, it's so different and it's very Mary J. Blige is what I see here. I'm not trying to do no Mary J. Blige. I'm trying to do Vivica A. Fox. The jacket, exquisite, it has that bling. It's Liberace would claw your eyes out for that jacket. It's just <laughs> fabulous. The shoe, me, not so much. It's not wrong, it's just not me. Those shoes were $1,100, and so for him to say that he didn't like him is making me a little nervous. The glam panel is going to deliberate, and we're not only gonna take this into account, but we're going to take all of your work that you've done since you've been here, and we're going to name one of you our glam god. Your excuse to the loft. I know I gave it 110%, and all I can do is leave it up to God. Regardless of what happens, I still feel like I did a good job. Hopefully, the first look and my body of work throughout this competition can help to save me. All right, Glam Panel, this is our final deliberation. Tiger Lily, she was always such a front runner. She could sew, she knew oh, yeah. women wear, she knew makeup well, she knew hair well. Based on the body of work, Tiger Lily has been extraordinary. She can do catalogs, she can work with sports figures, she can work with men, she can work with women, she can do ad campaigns. I think companies would feel very comfortable with her. It's been a wonderful journey for me to watch Indagio not only grow as a stylist, but as a man. He's not consistent, he's definitely a risk taker but I think that he's worth the risk. They're both incredible and so talented in order to get this far, but I do think that one of them is more talented than the other. Pick a name, whoever you pick <laughs> is gonna win the glam, God. I can't do this. You want me to do it? You do it. No, okay. don't do it. Well, glam panel, I think uh, we've chosen our glam God. I'm so nervous. I've been waiting my whole life for an opportunity like this. I really want to be the glam god. I'm a little bit disappointed that the judges didn't get the second look, but hopefully, you know, they'll take into consideration the body of work. Welcome back, stylists. You guys made it to the final two, and as I told you at the beginning of this, I'm very proud of both of you. However, I can only name one of you as a glam god.
Tiger Lily, you have always been talented. You've been consistent. But we put you under pressure with this challenge, and I don't think you were able to perform. I don't think you were able to raise your game. OK. Tiger Lily, you had me at hello. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think you have an enormous career. You choked here. You knew it when you walked down the stairs. You couldn't even really sell it to us. Yeah. But even with this not being your strongest look by any means, you know, based on the body of work, you've been extraordinary. The personality is there tonight. If I were a movie star, I'd want to come on a shoot and have you there. Thank you. In Dashio, I think that you are risky because you are unpredictable in the results of your challenges. I have to say yesterday when we came in and had our talk, there you were with your black jacket, your hat popped like mine. That's a, my little mini me. I felt so proud. I feel like you sometimes get lost. You get lost in the excitement, the glamour of it all. Look what you can do when you are focused. You make flawless choices. There's no pins, there's no weird edges. This is great styling. But at the end of the day, it is our very own diva here who gets to decide the glam god, so I acquiesce to you, my dear. Tiger Lily, would you like to say anything? I've always tried to be better because of you guys, and I completely respect every single one of you, Vivica. Today, working with you was like a dream, and I'm just happy to be here. Thank you. Dashio? I would like to thank you guys for giving me this opportunity. I've been waiting my entire life for this. Thank you all so much for believing in me. I can only name one glam god. Stay tuned to find out who will be the ultimate glam god. I can only name one glam god. Keep reaching for the stars, because one day I know you will stop them. <laughs> Thank I'm not you. I'm going to say you're not ready. Thank Just not today. You're eliminated. I wish you the best. Thank you so much. I really mean that. Bye. When they announced that I was eliminated, I was gutted. The next thing for me is just to continue to do good work, you know, be the best stylist there is. You know, people copy me on the streets regardless. You know, I want to bring what I have, my essence, to the world. Congratulations, Indachio. Oh, God. You are our glam god. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have won the coveted title of Glam God, the opportunity to be represented by a major styling agency, artist by Timothy Friano, the cash prize of $100,000. And one of your winning photos will be in an upcoming issue of Us Weekly magazine. What does that mean to you, Indashio? Man, it means the world. To have a dream and to live it. To have the people that I respect so much recognize it. Believe in me, I feel like I'm like, gonna wake up, you know? <laughs> it's, been, it's been an amazing journey. Like, people always ask me, like, what does Indashio mean? And Indashio means living the dream, you know, because I'm doing it um, like I couldn't ask for a better life, so I'm really blessed. It's been a bumpy ride, but when it was time for you to shine, you did just that. Congratulations, Indashio. You're welcome, baby. I'm trying to couple for you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm so proud of you. Oh. All right. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. That's you. You are the glam god. After this experience, I am now even that much more determined to work harder, to be better, to show the world that I am a glam god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>